so poor. It's every golfer's nightmare, dare I say it. The shank. How's the core going to help me cure my shank? Well, that was another great shot I just hit down there. Did you see that? How's the core going to cure your shank? Well, probably the two most common ways that I see people shank it are if we use the analogy of the grip and the, and the core again. I know sometimes people think, oh, can't he talk about something else? But if we use this analogy, what generally happens is the shank is the inside part of the golf club, so it's the inside edge, inside edge of a racket, if it's tennis or something, so it's the inside edge of the golf club that's hit the ball, and because it's circular, most of the time people hit it on the inside and it goes off to the right, which is a real, sort of, you know, a real shot that kicks in and, and, and hurts people when they do it, um, really unsettles people. So you're hitting it off the inside edge of the golf club, that's the reality of what's going on. So how do you hit, hit the ball off the inside edge? Well, you can do it if we looked at this as the target, the grip end again. You could do it by starting in quite a nice way and sort of swinging over the side. So by the time you get to, the, to hit something, you're hitting it with the inside edge of the club. So that's a way that some people do it. But more commonly, I see people where, again, a little bit like the slicers, they're getting this face of the golf club turned open and then by the time they get this back to the ball, they haven't had a chance to square the face up. So by the time it gets back to the ball, it's really the, the inside edge, the heel part of the golf club, that contacts the golf ball. So then they get really panicky and all the things that, that start to frighten people about shanking, that it's a bit of a disease and they've caught it off somebody and they start to get more and more nervous and they start to do it more and more. And they might even start sort of throwing the club outside with the face open and it, it compounds the error. You know, to me, the best cure is to put something down like a club on the floor. If you had this tool, you would really swing it back one-handed to start off with and really get a sense of how you might swing that back. So the face isn't turning open, it's just swinging back in a very square manner. And the more you did that, even with two-handed swings, the more chance you've got to get this face square as you hit the ball or hit this grip end, whatever the target is. And to me, that is probably the best cure that you can have for somebody shanking. You know, they've got to get away from this turning and rolling of the face open and thinking they've got to roll the hands through impact to get the face back to square to hit with golf shots. They just don't have to do that. You know, really, shankers um, you know, really start to get worried about hitting that shot. And a lot of the time, if you can get them starting with something very simple like this and hitting some shots that are just driving forward.